Hello everyone. Once again, this is MSJ Garden Design. I would like to be able to spend some time with you today talking about native plants. You can talk about the screening of using native plants, the ecological benefits of native plants, the natural resources in using native plants, how positive it is for the wildlife to survive with native plants. We'll be looking at some species that you can plant in your garden regarding native plants, such as this viburnum. It gives a lot of variety in terms of where the birds can feed and useful in arrangement. And we have the oak leaf hydrangea, which is a native hydrangea. There are a lot of different ornamental hydrangeas out there with pink blooms and white and blue in color. But this oak leaf hydrangea is native, so if you are interested in using a particular native species, this will be a good one to use. The miniature hydrangea is called the peewee hydrangea. We're also going to be looking at how to cultivate native plants, where to best plant your materials. So for example, we have a situation like this that is very naturalistic. A native plant garden comes in and helps you to form your garden in a way whereby you enjoy the space you have created giving shades and covering. You use plants that will create natural habitat for the butterflies such as the asters and you can look down below and see how the native plants will give you ground cover as well. This is a luscious garden that flourishes itself in the springtime there we have native plants of geraniums and beautiful ground cover that will last throughout the year, but the bloom is usually only for a short season. Here are some campanulas that gives you colors, and in the back, some height of your native plants that will bloom at a certain time. So you want a garden that will give you colors throughout the entire season. You have the achilleas, and within this garden space, you have various heights as well. The marigold is also added to give you the colors that will pop out. Here you have the gladia, which is a native plant species, and a bit of um, butterfly weed, which will be used to encourage the native plant's growth for ecological reasons. There are lots of different native plants when they are planted correctly, like this planty pussy toe. It creates a habitat for the community of American painted butterflies. Now, if the butterflies do not have this uh, particular plant, that colony will not survive. So we encourage native plants in gardens. You can add in native plants in your home landscaping to encourage the wildlife. There are some native plants that are actually detrimental to the trees because they have been planted in ways that are very, very unsightly. But using the same species, the Parthenosus quinifolia, when it is planted in a way whereby it is attractive to the eye, it allows you to move into the space like this picture on your left, you begin to enjoy the native plants compared to that on your right where it is harmful to the power line. Here is the same native plant used as a ground cover and as a hedge. Look at what colors it produces. So when using native plants, you want to use native plants from the ground cover stage where they will cover areas so you will minimize your weeding. In this case, we have the wild ginger to your grasses, which will give you that beautiful sound when the wind is moving as if you're at the seaside. And in the autumn times, this um, sea earth grass can be used for lots of attractive craft. Using the ferns to the flux, this area here looks a little unsightly because the native plants was not being used correctly but once you take a little bit of time and you work on the landscape, this is what you'll see. So the native plants are beginning to pull in the trees, small shrubberies, and ground covers. 
for you to enjoy the site. We have native plants that will now give you the tree height with colors blooming. You have this amalankia and the wild sunflowers. You have your fir tree that will cover up some unsightly areas, native fir. And here we go again now looking at how it screens the building and soften up the edge of the building. So you move from the low area of the grass into the ground cover, into the little bit of height of the shrubbery and you have the tree. And all of that helps you to really enjoy designing with the native plants. We have an area here where the car park would have just been a sea of grass, no attraction at all. But the space is being broken up with native plants in the middle. So as you get out of your car, you get to see colors and the butterflies and the bees and the birds all around you in nature. You can also use native plants for drainage. So if you have a wetland area, native plants love the feet being wet. So you can add native plants to your rain garden. Once again, you can use native plants to screen buildings that would just look dull and boring. But adding a bit of native plants there would just give that building interest. Beautiful native plants can be used in demonstration gardens where you go in there and you see how the native plants will actually uh, behave in its natural habitat. So you can decide, do I want this plant in my garden? And you look at this one, hmm, yes, I like this black spar. I think I can do with that. So native plants have lots of wonderful opportunities to be used. Do not be afraid of using native plants. A lot of people think native plants is unsightly, but when you select your species well, you design it within the space you want to design it in terms of the height, the color, where the soil condition is, you will find you have a beautiful native plant garden that you can enjoy all season round. Thank you once again for watching this short slide on native plant garden. I'll be happy to answer any further questions on how to design with native plants, give you lectures, in your various garden clubs or whichever area you feel comfortable with. Thank you so much. This is MSJ Garden Design. The garden is my happy place.